Wow. My anxiety is pretty crazy today. But we'll push through. <laughs> That's what we do. Jay is about to take me to lunch for my birthday. So I'm super excited about that. We get to go to lunch and then I'm, I go hang out with books. Like food, coffee, and um, books. It's like, I, I just love the combination of that. So thank you Barnes and Noble for the books, the coffee, and the food all in one place. Let's see what um, the next year will bring. And I usually have to take it day by day because I, I don't make long-term plans anymore because that's setting myself up. Like if I have too much to do, I get nothing done. What definitely has changed in the last year is that I grew a lot closer to God and I'm in a much better spiritual place. And I learned that God will remove people from our lives and God will send new people in our lives and that um, everything happens for a reason. Nothing is coincidence. Nothing at all. I met so many wonderful people just with me being out doing book signings and stuff. Like, I always thought there is nothing good in people really, right? And now I meet so many just amazing people with amazing stories. And um, that is definitely something I am looking forward to. To meet a lot more amazing people. And it's so hard because I want to hang out with everybody all the time. But I don't have the time. <laughs> like, I need one day to have at least 36 hours at least to talk to everybody that I would love to talk to what I learned too is that when I have a bad night that the second it gets dark that's when the panic comes and that's when the nightmares come what I did learn too is that if I just make it to the sunrise then I'm okay we can always make it to the sunrise. Don't give up those few hours of darkness. You will turn on music. You turn on a TV show. You just turn all the lights on. Like if I can't sleep and if I have um, nightmares or whatever, what I do is I just get out of bed. I do not force myself to lay there. We try to fix it, it never works. We go breaking up like cell phones when I speak cause you don't listen when I talk. Y'all don't nothing but that high note when you speak cause I don't listen when you talk. Yesterday it was really weird because for the first time in a long time I was like I just want to go dancing I want to go clubbing and I want to have a few drinks so I told Denise and she said mom do you think that you can never drink again it's like I don't know she said do you think you'll do dumb stuff yes yes guys if I would ever start drinking again I think I would be just as irresponsible and destructive and I don't even want to take the chance of that. Yeah. Definitely not a good idea for me. Lunch. Well, it's not lunch. It's dinner. <laughs> I thought I made that up, but apparently it was always a thing. <laughs> and we had a pho. Because pho is my favorite place. I am so excited. Grayson loves superheroes, but he tears up every book, like books and magazines. He completely tears up. So I just went to the comic book store and got him this. And I'm so excited 
I can't wait to get to the house and give this to him. He's going to love this so much. Let's see if we can get him to read. Thank you for lunch, Jay. Yeah, I'd say any time, but I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Alright. We've been out here for almost six hours. And this is store number what, Jay? I don't even know. I stopped well, counting. We're looking for some Avino stuff for Jay. And none of the stores have it. And I think I'm going to lose it. You think you're going to lose it? Like, I really am about to lose it. Like, wow. Like, this is crazy. 